What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So I got another tutorial video for you today. I have a Lenovo computer, a client's computer, uh, that was given to me to repair. And I wanna show you guys how easy it is to, to get inside the PC and to repair it. Now, the customer symptoms is uh, that the PC comes on and it actually goes to safe mode. Uh, I haven't booted it up. As you can see that I got the components all over the place. I haven't even hooked anything up yet. So before we get into it, this is a Lenovo PC desktop. Uh, it's an i3 processor and it's running Windows 7. Uh, looking at the, uh, the literature on the, the device. So today I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to fix a PC. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So I got everything plugged in. I never turned the PC on yet. And I got the monitor hooked up with the PC and I got the keyboard and I got a mouse all hooked up here. So let me go to turn on the PC for the first time and I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Turn on the power button and uh, we get in power. Let's see exactly what comes on with the PC. All right, all right, so we get in the home uh, screen here. All right, let's see what it's going to do. Now, the client told me that, uh, okay, now it's going into uh, a Windows failure here. Uh, so it's going to let me go ahead and start it up normally and see exactly uh, what it's all about. So my keyboard isn't working. Look like, let's see. All right, so my keyboard isn't working. As you can see, I got my keyboard plugged into the USB and uh unfortunately it's not working okay so wow i just went into safe mode all right so uh with the keyboard not working um maybe we may have a hardware problem i'm not sure maybe i'm gonna have to change uh from usb here uh but it's saying uh system repair it's running windows 7. uh when you run into these issues, if you don't have a, uh, you got a keyboard, or you got it plugged into USB and it's not recognizing, you could always swap out the USB and uh, to another port and see if that'll work. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't want to recognize my USB and want to go straight into safe mode. This was, was the symptoms that the customer told me uh, that uh, the computer was going directly to safe mode, which is okay. We're going to see. Now it's kind of doing a, a startup repair. Uh, this is kind of what Windows does. If you run into some issues, it, uh, it, it does this. And sometimes you can let it run and sometimes it give you errors, but we're gonna let it run, see what it's all about. Okay, so I fast forward the video a little bit and uh, this been going on for about 30, 35 minutes. Uh, right now it is totally dead. Don't understand what's going on with the PC. As uh, you can look here, the hard drive is running. Uh, and again, it's about 45 minutes it's been running and it's a no-go so far. Uh, actually, the keyboard light came on, so the keyboard is working and the mouse is working, so we got that working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go to the force close uh, this computer and see if I can get it to some uh, maybe safe mode or something, because right now it's a no-go. All right, so I'm starting it up here and uh, when I start up the PC, I'm gonna hit F8 again. Let me see if I can get it to safe mode with this computer here. See if I can get it to safe mode. As you can hear that I'm pressing F8. And uh, let's see if we can get it to safe mode. All right, there we go. All right, so there it is. All right, so let's get into safe mode here. And uh, let's see what this computer does. Okay, guys, so we're in safe mode right now. All right, so let's go, let me check something out here because unfortunately, uh, there's a few ways on how to uh, restore this computer uh, without a CD. If you got a recovery petition on a Lenovo PC, right? If you boot this PC up and you hit F11, it should bring you to a recovery petition. All right. So let me show you guys something 
real quick while I'm in safe mode. And let's go to my computer. And we got a problem right here. This computer does not have a recovery petition. Now, I don't know who had this PC. I don't know what happened. But unfortunately, this computer does not have a recovery petition. So uh, at this point, this is one of the reasons why this PC does not want to boot. It's totally corrupted. It does not want to boot into uh, uh, the, the operating system itself. Uh, so there's a few things you could do here. All right. Uh, and if you go to recovery, you can go to advanced recovery and you can try to do this here. Try to go to earlier point. All right. Uh, and uh, let's try this. This first method. If this doesn't work, then we have to go to a drastic method. Uh, so let's try this. OK, uh, let me let this run and I'm going to show you all guys a, a, a secondary method on how to do this. And you're going to need a secondary PC to make this work. Uh, so let's see if we can go to an earlier time, at least get this PC up and running before we go to the next step here. OK, so now it's telling me I'm in recovery options and it asks me if I want to hit uh, United States, which I am. Now, what happened there? Let's go back up to the United States. All right. Hit next. All right, so here we go. This uh, computer cannot find a system image. All right. Uh, so it's no backup, no system image, no recovery petition at all. You, if you don't have a CD here, almost you're screwed, right? Um, and to, since you don't have that uh, and the recovery failed, and uh, right now it's, it's totally screwed. All right, and if you hit it F11 while it's booting up, all right, I'm hit F11. That is your recovery uh, petition uh, for Lenovo to bring you straight into recovery. Unfortunately, it's bringing me into Windows. So this computer does not have a recovery petition. Uh, and so at this point, you have to download an ISO file uh, from uh, Microsoft, which this is uh, Windows 7. And I, I believe you could go to the Lenovo website and you could download Windows 7. ISO file from the manufacturer uh, because this computer is totally screwed. As you can tell, it doesn't even want to boot into Windows. All right. So what I got to do is I have to download an ISO file, a Windows 7 ISO file for this PC because it no longer works. Right now, PC is done. And uh, right now, the computer, I mean, I, we, I went through this already, 45 minutes. It will not boot into Windows. All right, guys, so finally, the PC boot up after maybe about an hour or so. Uh, but uh, this PC, again, does not have a recovery uh, disk. So I want to show you guys right here. As you can see, this PC does not have a recovery disk at all. Uh, and uh, so what I want to do here is I want to go ahead on and wipe this out. But uh, since this PC doesn't have a recovery disk, I'm pretty much screwed here, right? Not necessarily. Uh, since this is a Lenovo computer, I went on to uh, Lenovo website, all right? You could actually go on Lenovo website, uh, whatever PC manufacturer that you have, and you could actually download the ISO file straight from the manufacturer. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to download the ISO file straight from the manufacturer. You need a DVD or a USB, but I'm going to download uh, an ISO file straight from the manufacturer, guys, and uh, go ahead and put it in the disk drive, and I'm going to boot from CD, and uh, once I do that, then I'm going to just do a full recovery. All right, so I just finished downloading the recovery CD, and I put it in, in the computer, and it's asking me to run the, the setup EXE. Uh, so once you download the uh, recovery ISO file from the manufacturer or from Microsoft, uh, once you put it in the PC, you could do two ways. You could either boot up to the PC, which I got previous videos about that, or you could uh, run it. Let me see if I might try to run it while I'm inside the PC and see if that'll work. These are, I'm glad this is happening because a lot of people always ask me these questions about this. So let me see if I can run it right here. If not, then I'll just go it on and run it uh, from uh, boot. But uh, right here, there we go. So Windows 7, let me go to install. Let me see if it's going to work. All right, so here we go. All right, so right now, uh, it's, it's going through the long process of doing a complete recovery using a CD that I downloaded from Lenovo. 
Uh, and uh, there it is. You could do this from Microsoft.com, but you need a DVD ROM, a secondary computer to get this done. So let me go on, let this finish, and I'm gonna show you guys the end results. All right, guys, so I got a clean boot here, and we are done here. I put all the information in. As you can tell, that is it's fresh. Now, remember, guys, what I did here is a Lenovo PC. I went to the Lenovo uh, website, and I downloaded the ISO file, put it on the DVD ROM, and I did a fresh boot here. As you can tell, uh, the computer is running great. I would recommend to the customer to go it on the download Windows 10. I mean, got four gigs of RAM, got a pretty good processor in it, i3 processor, so it's not as old, but... Um, you got Windows 7, it's Windows 10 now, so it can download Windows 10 and go to and upgrade this PC. But my job is done. That's what I wanted to do. Computer did not want to boot up, and I went on and downloaded the ISO file and got it done. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think about this Windows PC and all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.